Hi everyone, it's Tanya with KB Riley again here to make a really awesome card with you today. And it's so, 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 so simple. Check this out. You ready? The nice, cute little spring summer birthday card. Do you? Look at that pop up on that thing. Doing. This is the easiest die I promise you that we have at KB Riley. It is so, so simple. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, our specials for today, kind of keep track. Okay. Our specials for today, I have two different specials, okay, with this card. Now, the first thing, every die that I use in this card is 20% off on our website at KarenBerniston.com. Or if you're just getting started and you want everything to make this card and 50 more just like it, yeah, or change it up a little bit. I do have a die bundle out there that you can get. It is 30% off. So you can get everything you see here for $67. It's amazing. So make sure you go out there and grab one. The first die that in is in it, we use the BAM box pop-up. I love the name of it. Just BAM, 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 BAM. Love the name of this. It comes with two of the mechanisms and some amazing stacking dies that you can do all kinds of fun stuff with, and we'll show you that in a second. The bundle also has our short rectangles, and they're in crosshatch, and then it's a gorgeous little flower design to add to it. Those are included in the bundle. These big birthday charms, one of our best sellers. They are, look at all those different things. You can make a layered cake. You can make a layered present. You can make a candle. You can make that. Wait till you see the little fork that we're going to use. It's adorable. I also have the happy birthday and the happy birthday shadow in this bundle. And I have word set too. Now, if you have some of these and you want to just get the rest of them to be able to make this card, you can do that. They're in the sale category and they're 20% off for a week only, okay? So go grab them. The bundle also includes the little rubber bands that you're gonna need to make the card with. So, I am also going to teach you, if we have time today, how to turn a regular envelope into an envelope that fits a little mini slimline. Everybody has the big envelopes, right? So how do you mail a mini slimline? I'm gonna show you that in a little while. But first, let's get started. On our card. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do, all right, we're just going to put together the front of our card. And it's very simple. I used the crosshatch dies. You don't even have to measure, okay? So what I did is I just cut a base to begin with, which is a six by seven, and I folded it in half. So it's six wide, seven long. All I did was fold it in half, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to use my glue. Most of you know that I would use Zip Dry. I'm gonna show you the fine tip bottle that we have today. We're just gonna put a little around the outside edge and we're going to be very careful when we put this on. Oops. Okay. So the very biggest of the short rectangles fits this perfectly. Then I just used a couple more dies from the set in different paper. For those of you that love paper as much as me, this is Echo Park paper. Now I'm going to give you a little tip about the Karen Berniston bottle. This is line coat ph glue in here can you tell how much i use this bottle it's like my label's coming off but you can get these bottles on our website too with the tip the glue does not come with it you'll have to order the glue but these fine tips are very teeny teeny tiny can you see that and they can get clogged if you let them set out all right if you use here's a little trick karen taught me this a long time ago if you get yourself a little jar this is just a little yogurt jar put a paper towel on the bottom okay and just put a little water in it, you can turn this upside down. Number one, it keeps your glue ready to go, and number two, it keeps the tip wet so it doesn't clog up on you. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just put this 
right on top. See what I mean? It's just ready to go the minute you use it or the minute you uh, squeeze it. So this I'm going to just lay down like that. Now for my happy birthdays, I'm going to take my shadow and I'm going to take this cover. I'm just going to put them together. Okay. Just a little tip for you. This is just a solid piece of, see, just basic peach color doesn't really look like that on that side right all I did was I took a sponge and some peach colored ink and I inked up the paper first before I cut it I inked up the paper just by doing little circles and rubs and then I put my dye on it where I wanted it to be gradiated and then I cut it out super simple thing to do we're gonna go ahead and just this on here Okay, I'm going to take that and very carefully lay it on here because you don't have a lot of time to move it. So you kind of want to get it right the first time. And it dries clear. So in order to get rid of all the extra, I just kind of squish it. There you have it. Okay, and then we're just going to put this on. I can't wait to show you. The band box it is so easy and it makes such a huge impact okay so that is ready to go now I took the flowers out of the center of this okay took the little flowers and I am just gonna cut them apart and I'm gonna put three down here and three up here and then if I have time I'll put some little embellishments on them Okay, so I'm going to just put that there and put this here. All right, and the front's done. Now, if you notice, this is shiny, right? All I used was glossy accents. You can use crystal lacquer, glossy accents, whatever you choose, but that's all that you use on that. Now we're going to go to the inside. Okay, so let's just put this little guy in the middle. That's what we want. Let me show you the inside of the card. Okay, so it's very simple. I'm just going to lay him down in the middle. You guys are going to love this band box mechanism. Karen is just a genius at making things easy for the end user to use, but that makes it look so difficult. And it, it just blows my mind how simple this was. A lot of people, it's their favorite because you can literally put this mechanism anywhere you choose. So I cut out two of these. All right. Whoop, stick down there. Cut out two of these. Right. So I am just going to lay them end to end. It's just enough to go across all of it. Have them touching in the middle. Just like that. And I just put little element dots on there, little enamel dots. So. Okay, so we have two blue streamers. And we're going to put those on in the back. Those come with the big birthday charms. This is something um, I believe I used in our card the last time in February, and I just realized that today, and then it occurred to me I use it a lot because I love the big birthday charms. There's a little balloon and a, and a present. All right. Let me see for you. See, there's a balloon and a present and a candle and a cake. The cake, look how cute that is. Looks so difficult, it's so not. And let's, okay, so we've got plenty of time. So let's assemble. Now I will give you a hint, okay? Assemble your, whatever you're putting on the band piece first, okay? Because that way you'll know where you're gonna be able to lay it so that it folds down properly, okay? So we're just going to put this piece together and it's really easy. These pieces, these medallion pieces, 
The layered pieces come with the band box, which makes it super convenient. I'm put some glue on that. Okay, then my little white one goes in the middle. Okay, so that is as easy as that is now. We are just going to, there's a little words. I'm gonna set those aside for a second. Now let's make our cake. These are the pieces that I have left. We're gonna go ahead and make our cake. And I'm just gonna snip, this is the cake charm. I'm just gonna snip off the charm part that you can hang it from because I don't wanna quite use that today. I am going to, there's a little hole in here that you can slide your candle in if you want to. See that? How fun that is? I am going to try not to glue that piece. I always do. But I'm going to try not to. Just up there. Just down here. Okay, and that is going to set right on top of this. And all of a sudden, in the stroke of a glue bottle, we have a yellow cake with chocolate frosting. All right, we're going to take this cake and we are going to put it on a nice little floral plate. Okay, so we're going to do just along the bottom here. Then for the candle, now I want to keep the base and everything intact, but I want the candle flame to look a little 3D. So I'm going to take the same ink just go over the top and it just gives it a little bit of a cool little flickering shadow type thing all right I am going to take the pink one and this is going to be the color of my candle so I'm just going to snip off the flame put a little glue on it and attach it to my candle and then all of a sudden we have a pink candle with a yellow flame. Super simple, right? And if I can get it to slide in there, if it does, it's going to be the first time ever. Because I always manage to glue these shut, which is no big deal either. You can always, oh, there it is. I did it! Yay! I'm going to put a little bit of glue down in there and slide the candle right in there. Now you can put one candle, you can put two candles, you can put like 50 candles if, you know, you're sending a card for a 50 year old, which would be really funny because it'd be huge, wouldn't it? All right. Now this is the wee little fork that I was telling you about. You guys, I cut this out of silver mirror paper. Is that hilarious? It's just a wee little fork, right? And it's going to sit right down there. Ah, I put some on the back that I didn't want on yet. No problem. I'm just going to wipe it off. Okay, so this is finished. See how simple that is? They're just super easy charms. And then we're going to put that little cake guy right there. Okay, let's put him on there all together. And again, if you are not used to Karen Berniston pop-ups, you really should go give them a look. Karen has been in the industry almost 30 years, and she started off as a civil engineer. So she is absolutely fabulous at drawing mechanisms, and she's very, very good at how things interwork, which is why she is just the absolute queen of pop-ups. And I believe now, gosh, I'm... I'm gonna guess i'm not great at numbers but i'm gonna guess we have 60 75 pop-ups now there's all kinds of them out there something for everybody and then of course there's accessory dies and every time she makes an accessory die it's fantastic because she always designs backwards so what she's designing she always wants to make sure that it works with something that we've done before which helps your money go a lot, a lot further. All right. And if you're watching and you know about Karen Berniston pop-up dies, tell me what your favorite pop-up die is. All right. 
So what I'm doing here is I am putting bright pink on top of blue just to create a little shadow. All right, and it's gonna say to you. So I put the pink on the blue and now we're just gonna attach it to our little medallion. Two, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. My picker uppers aren't working really well today. All right. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. Just put glue on the back and attach it on here. While I'm doing that, just so you guys know, you can not only get this incredible bundle special today, 30% is huge. We don't do that very often. But next release is coming next week. The stores will be able to order and you guys will be able to order it next Friday. And it is so much fun. It's going to blow your mind. I saw the designs and I, I literally came out of my chair and I'm like, this is insane. I can't even believe this, but you're going to love it. So here is our medallion. All done. Cute, huh? Okay. So even if you didn't want to put that on a pop-up, you'd go great in the middle of the car, just like that. Right. But we're going to make it extra fancy. Okay, so here is the mechanism. Here's the mechanism for our card. This is all it is, okay? And all you need is a rubber band. Now, we sell these rubber bands on our website in little bitty packages. Okay, I think there's roughly 40, 50 of them in here for $1.75. But they're little number eight size rubber bands, okay? So what we are going to do is we are going to fold this down in a valley okay then we're going to fold this this way okay and this way and then this is going to go over that's and that is going to go over okay so we're going to take these two center pieces to make it nice and strong we're just going to glue those together. And if you, if you are doing, if you're, you're going to want to do this card, which I'm sure you guys are, and you don't want to come back and go through this video again, you can just go on the Karen Berniston website. Okay. I'm going to hold it. So we're going to flip this over. You can go on the Karen Berniston website and every pop-up die we have, Karen has done a video that will help you put them all together. It's pretty amazing. Okay. So you can just go out and click on that and go to the part that you want to see. And she always generally has a full card that she's made out there. So there's lots and lots of ideas. So we glue that together. We started this way, glued it together. We're going to turn it over. All right. We're going to lay this, put the ribbon or put the, put a ribbon right in this little hole. Okay. Just like that. All right. See that? Then we're going to take this. And we're going to come up and go around this little kit. I told you guys my hands are not working today. Just like that. Okay. This is going to fold over and we are just going to glue this together just like this. Super simple, right? Super simple. All right. We're just going to put a little glue here. Bring this up. Fold it over, hold it for just a minute, and I will show you exactly how it works. So easy. Now, the great thing about these little band boxes, see, ta da, look at that, ta da, they just pop right back up, ta da. One thing, and that's the reason that I use the re, it, it, uh, gosh, I'm losing what I'm trying to say here. It adhered very quickly. That's why I love this PVA glue because it grabs on really quick and you don't have to sit there and hold it forever. So we have this. This little guy can be put anywhere on a card, right? So if you were going to make a card and you were going to do it this way, you could sit it here and it's going to lay down just like that. Okay. Or you could put it over here or you could put it down here. In this case, I'm going to put it right here. See? Whoop. All right. So we're going to lay it down just whoop, like that. OK, 
Okay, so we are going to glue. Make sure you only glue to the side. Only glue your medallion to the side that's going to be facing the front. Like that. We're just going to hold it there for just a second. Okay. And see how that works? So it's going to lay down. Now, with that laid down, you're going to figure out where you can put it. So I definitely don't want it up here because it wouldn't work right. So, or it wouldn't close. So in order to make it close, I have to keep this at this line right here. But I can also put it down here at the very bottom. If I want, I can do it in the middle which would be kind of silly because our happy birthday is going that way, but you could, you could even put it over here. You can put two of them on the same card. All you'd have to do is make another little band box to go with it, okay? So this is what, you also get little decorator pieces before I forget, so that it doesn't just look, you know, like you got a blue piece. We're gonna put a little, some decorator pieces on the back of this. So when they see it from any angle, it's going to be a cutie patootie. And there's one. And there's two. All right. Now let's attach this to our card. Yay. All right. So, I'm going to attach it on this very bottom piece. Make sure that you don't get any glue on that back piece because you don't want to glue it to the whole cart. We're going to find where it is that we want to put it at. Sit it right down there. Okay. Close your car, make sure it fits. And honestly, giving general time. I would certainly go ahead and maybe clip this and let it sit for a couple, three minutes. All right, but in this case, we're gonna test it out. <gasps> Yay! How easy is that? We literally made a pop-up card in 20 minutes. Wouldn't that be fantastic to send to somebody? And if you guys wanna get really fancy, you can grab your crystal lacquer and you can make the little frosting be look all wet. You can put your stickles on there, okay? But in the meantime, I wanna show you something really cool. I wanted an envelope that would fit this, but all I had were long envelopes, okay? So what I did is I just took my card on this ahead of time, of course, and I laid in there and I marked off how wide I wanted it to be. So I gave me just a little bit. There's no specific uh, measurements or anything for this. It was just kind of a whim. So what I did is these lines right here, I drew in and I scored along these lines, okay? Wanted to keep them this color so you'd see. This is where I'm going to put my card inside. So I wanted to have enough width. Then I went ahead and I scored them so they're gonna be able to fold in, all right? Everybody's going to go, oh my God, are you serious? Oh my God. I need to put a video on how to alter. I need to do a quick video on how to alter an envelope, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to unfold this. And we certainly want to cut this off. Okay, that's going to fold down like that. And we want to cut this at an angle. Okay, we're going to take this side and cut this off. Cut this at an angle just like that, all right? Now, we want to cut off just this inside piece, all right? Be a little nice about it, because that's you're gonna be able to see this, so take your time. Cut a nice little, that nice little thing off there. Like that. And I love these colored envelopes. I get them from the paper cut and I just love them. So with that said, now we have our envelope and it's all cut up and all chopped up and stuff. So what we wanna do 
just glue it to the outside. So we're going to fold this in. We're going to fold this in. And I'm going to run a line right here as close to the outside as I can. And as close to the outside as I can. Because we don't want any glue getting on the inside. We don't want to glue the, pe the pages down. <laughs> that would not work very well. So we're going to lay that there and seal it really well. And lay that there and seal it really well. And look at that. We have an envelope that is absolutely perfect for this card. Isn't that crazy? So simple. So now my little card that pops up is going to fit nice and neat in my envelope ready to mail. Ta-da! Whoop, and I just knocked my glue over. Ta-da! I hope you enjoyed this card. I've got just a couple, three minutes left. We are giving away, just so you know, and everybody that's still listening, we are giving away a an entire bundle to one lucky person that comments during the show. I probably should have told you that at the very beginning, huh? But I didn't. The bundle includes, and you can get this bundle if you don't win, you can get this bundle 30% off. Okay, 30% off comes with the BAM box pop-up. This die is a $30 die on its own. Everything's included in that. It comes with the short rectangles. So you get all of these sizes and the cute little daisy chain in the bundle. I also use the Happy Birthday Word, which I love. It is a perfect size for cards. And the shadow. Then the bundle also includes the Big Birthday Charms and the Word Set 2, which is birthday. So you get a lot of stuff here to make birthday cards with, including a pop-up mechanism. And I'll even throw in a bag of rubber bands for you. If you already have some of these dies, you can get them individually at 20% off, including the little rubber bands, okay, at karenberniston.com. And I do believe that is it for the day. Thank you so much for joining me. Somebody is going to win a whole bundle. And 